Hi guys, Linksy here. So, most of you probably know that when you die indoors, the guiding light starts speaking to us, giving us tips about how to avoid the thing that caused our death. Well, yeah, the death screen for that got updated, and this time, when we die, we can see a special place that looks like under the water. Now, we don't know where this takes place, but the guiding light can be seen in form of a moon. And today, guys, we will be checking out the location of the guiding light and curious light, and the other one that can be seen in the rooms or the back door. Well, for this video, I will need to use my bacon powers. These allows me to do anything inside the game. Like anything. <laughs> well, firstly, let's jump into a match and check out where these two entities really are. A splash. What have you done this time, man? I can't. I can't move my camera. Oh, I barely can, but... I need to use my entire desk just to move it a little bit, man. What have you done to the game now? You were supposed to make it easier, not harder. Well, at least there is an option that allows you to make your camera movement faster. It is kind of good for situations like this. Now, I don't know why this happens, but I know that the solution is to put the speed to four. This way it will get fixed. Well, not really, but won't stop you from playing no more. What the? Um, sometimes this may happen that you can hear Rush, but he's not actually coming. Now, I got absolutely no idea why this happens. I guess Lost Flash just wants to troll you guys. Just like happened to me in my last video where I was getting chased by grumblers, I recommend checking it out if you want to see me in pain, like always, hey? <laughs> Now, when we appear in front of the guiding light, I'll detach my camera from my character, and we'll be able to look around and see where this takes place. Oops, wrong command, guys. Gotta redo. Okay, so this is where this takes place. Um, it is... <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. We are basically floating in the void, but, um, oh, true. His death screen is not that long. We gotta redo but with Rush, since his death screen is longer. But firstly, I wanna see if we can find that place without dying, since it takes place in the void, and I'm pretty sure that it is near the hotel. There is no need to put it so far, I guess. Now, of course, I will need to do some changes since Las Plash won't let us see the guiding light room directly. With that, I mean the hotel may generate rooms towards the room, or even make a room collide with the guiding light room, and Las Plash wouldn't want that. Well, Las Plash added some special fog to the game that does not allow exploiters to see past it, making it impossible to find the room, but don't worry guys, it's a super simple to delete it, of course. This only works for me, but like this, we will be able to see where the room is now. Um, I have absolutely no idea how far can that room be, since we should be able to see it now. But besides the map, we cannot see anything else. I guess he really put it pretty far. I tried to find the game files for the room, but I did not manage to find it like this, so <laughs> there was only one way to find it, by dying. Okay, so this looks like a special zone under the map. Normally nothing can spawn under the map limit, but this thing can't. Basically, this room is under the map, but when we checked the actual location, it was not actually there. So this room only appears when we die instead of always being there, just existing. I guess this makes sense. Now, there's nothing special here, just particles and a moon, and our character just floating in the void. 
but it gives us vibes that we are actually under the water or in the space, when in reality it was just under our feet. I was also wondering if there is this guiding light room in the lobby, but after a little bit of searching, it does not exist here, even if I spawn an entity that can kill me. I'll just normally respond, so it only exists inside the hotel. Now, we will be checking out if the same thing happens with the curious light and where the location for this entity is on the map. Okay, so it looks like, um, what the, is this shape? Uh oh, I guess it's like another fog thing that blocks our view in case we glitch out of the map and we see this. <laughs> or just straight up use Bacon's skill set that allows you to just do this. It, well, there is nothing much to this. I hoped for a cooler thing like a secret or in detail that a lay splash left for people who exploit. To see, oh, well, he actually did that in floor two. If we take a look behind the elevator, after we spawn in, we can see a photo of a cat. I posted the entire video on my second channel. The link to the video will be in the description. Well, just like the guiding light, the curious light spawns under the map only after we die and there are only particles and the star symbol just floating in the void. Nothing much really. I did not knew this thing. I thought that we'd just fall into the void. But instead, it's a blocked room that drags us into a hole and kills us. Pretty disturbing. <laughs> 